Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm going to narrate this case, which was a very challenging cataract surgery operation. The patient presented after undergoing hyperopic LASIK some 12 years ago with a white cataract. This is his only functional eye. The anterior chamber is very shallow and the cataract is white. The pupil dilated irregularly and going into the eye we knew uh, we would stain the capsule with vision blue, which is what we did. We very gently entered the anterior chamber after filling it with viscoelastic, and as you can see, the uh, iris wanted to prolapse even through the paracentesis port. Uh, using a bent needle cystitone, we carefully fashioned a uh, capsulotomy. And when we started doing the phaco emulsification part of the procedure, we saw uh, in a more obvious fashion the loss of zonules for what looked like about four clock hours. You can see it on this image from about 2.30 to about 7.30, 2.30 to 6.30. So, we decided let's go ahead and try to FACO this cataract inside the bag. Let's not take out the whole lens and capsule complex. Let's try and implant a posterior chamber lens. So we went ahead and fortunately were able to crack the lens and rotate it, <coughs> which facilitated our ability to safely remove a substantial portion of this cataract initially. I was basically trying to debulk the very shallow anterior chamber by removing uh, a substantial amount of this very dense white cataract. So we're fake going in the bag, but we know that this bag, once we take out a majority of the lens, there's not going to be enough mass within the bag to keep it expanded. So our goal is just to remove about half or more of the cataract to create space in the bag. Since it's his only seeing eye, his other eye is not functional, we then elected to use a stabilized capsular tension ring made by Advanced Medical or Abbott Medical Optics. We inserted this capsular tension ring into the bag after we had taken out probably about half of the cataract. Capsular tension ring goes in fairly easily because we have debulked a majority of this cataract already. So the fact that this was this gentleman's only functional eye. He had no medical insurance. He was paying out of pocket for this procedure. If we have to send him to a vitro-retinal surgeon to complete the work, that'll incur added expense and added uh, surgical risk of complications. So we wanted to do everything we could to make sure we got uh, a lens in this gentleman and got the cataract out safely. So once we, we have inserted the capsular tension ring, we're able to have a more stable uh, capsular bag, which allows me to 
safely remove the remainder of this cataract. Once we've removed the nucleus, we proceed with normal uneventful cortical cleanup, cleanup with the irrigation and aspiration handpiece. 